they've been like really really positive a lot of people are claiming it's like the best predator movie since the the first one and obviously you and i have both seen it and so before i give my thoughts hey everyone welcome to the fortress of solitude podcast i'm your host sergio Pereira. And today I'm joined by Fortress of Solitude's editor-in-chief, the main man, the big cheese, the... Shall I call you the president? Can I call you the president? I almost thought you were going to say the predator, but (laughs) the president sounds a lot better than the predator. (laughs) (laughs) The president of Fortress Empire, Jared Saunders. How are you doing, Jared? I'm all right. Bit of a flu, but I'm I'm doing okay in yourself. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah, I, I can. I can tell you've you, you've sounded better. Shame. <laughs> well, yeah, hopefully, yeah. hopefully you, you kick it. But I mean, this is the season, unfortunately. But yeah, yeah today, I mean, we're not going to be discussing flu because that's a, a whole entirely different podcast. Today, we're going to be discussing the brand new Predator film called Prey. Now, this is obviously the first Predator film since the the Predator. Which came out uh, from Shane Black. I think it was twenty, it was twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I think I'll be honest. The, the naming system of these Predator movies is it's absolutely terrible. Like Predator, Predators, The Predator, Predators, Predator Two, Predator. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wh- how do you follow all this? So I'm glad Prey already sticks out from the rest of them by naming it something you know different. So I'm I'm already happy about that. <laughs> That's yeah, already no, positive. Yeah. And I think that's that's actually like a valid, you know, sort of, I wouldn't say complaint, but a, a, a valid comment actually, because, uh, you know, it, it, the naming convention kind of summarizes a little bit of the franchise, to be honest. Like it kind of yeah. feels like a little bit all over the place that you don't really know what's a sequel, what isn't, what's tied to what, what is canon, what isn't. I mean, you obviously yeah. had the first Predator movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, um, uh, you know, like Carl Weathers and uh, Jesse Ventura, we had that one, which was the one that kicked everything off that everybody like fell in love with. Then suddenly you get Predator 2 where everyone's missing. And, you know, it's suddenly you have Danny Glover in the lead and the Predator's <laughs> now in like, you know, Concrete Jungle, which is, look, it was an I, interesting you, premise. But I, I liked it. I know you did. You have your, your, your qualms about that one. But I actually liked that one because I thought it was such a different take to the whole Predator thing that, it made it interesting for me. I remember watching it back when I was a kid. I wasn't allowed to watch. Actually, I wasn't supposed to watch the movie because it was like R18 back then, you know. But I, I watched yeah. it and I was like, wow, this is, this is, I like the fact that they did it completely different from the, you know, the, the first movie. But yeah, I look, know a lot of people did it. <laughs> they were expecting yeah, look, more. I, I th- I think it's got like its charm in certain places. I mean, w- without a doubt, it definitely has got something. But I, I, the, the series kind of like lost itself a little bit because I, I think about it, like Predators was actually really good. That was the one I think with, uh, what's his name? Topher Grace, if I'm not mistaken, it was in it and Adrian Brody. I really enjoy that one. That, that was like a really uh, decent effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't like those ones. <laughs> like you, everything you don't that like came after that. I, everything that came after Predators uh, 2 was rubbish to me like yeah look uh, i mean I, alien I versus predator alien versus predator was just supposed to be fun and and that's kind of what i took away from yeah, it. i yeah, do yeah, think yeah, this yeah. this the sequel that avp Re- Re- requiem like that one i think i think it was requiem if i'm not mistaken that that oh, one was terrible words. like this name that was that, like, that was awful. Like i'm already yeah. like i don't know what is what <laughs> like, that, that was so awful I, I did not like that at all because it just like it lacked a charm and i was like what is going on here this just it, it just sucked i did not like it at all yeah. and then obviously we got the predator and the least said about that the better like i've never felt so insulted by a movie like i did with is that the predator like, the one was, that came before this one yes it's it's a one with uh, Boyd the comedy, with it, like the whole yeah a whole bunch of comedy yeah and, and the, the predator dogs and yeah, 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 the predator yeah, yeah. dogs and like where he puts okay, on like he turns yes, into yes. A, like a, a power ranger predator at the end yeah like it's you know yeah everyone's like yeah, you know yeah. it's morbid really, time really but now. that was the original morbid time it was yeah. that was the original morbid time it, it was <laughs> pretty time that was it yeah, yeah. definitely and I, yeah I, I did not like that so, like and there was yeah, a predator just, you know, hunting a predator in that one right that one is that yeah, it, it was. was I don't even remember like yeah, half I don't of it. Know. It was, so it, was just, weird. it was just so ridiculous. Like there were like yeah. some really cool action scenes in it, but like it was just such a ridiculous premise. I was like, you yeah. know, I, I just did not like it. And now, obviously, we've got Prey, which is set three hundred years in the past, 
you know, with a Comanche nation. And it's, it's supposed to be like in, I wouldn't say it's an origin story for the Predator, but it just kind of shows that they've been around for a very long time and how they took on, you know, like humanity basically, you know, you know centuries yeah. ago and like, you know, how they've been around. And, you know, obviously the, this movie went straight to Hulu instead of, um, and Disney Plus, instead of actually debuting in cinema, which I thought was a little bit of an odd thing, you know, because it is the Predator at the, end of, at the end of the day. It's like one of those franchises like Alien. But, yeah. you know, they obviously took the decision. They decided that, you know what, this is going to go to to Hulu, whatever. And, like, the reviews so far have been, like, really, really well, social reactions. The reviews are still not allowed. But uh, yeah. by the time you probably hear this, it will be allowed. And um, they've been, like, really, really positive. A lot of people are claiming it's, like, the best Predator movie since the, the first one. And, obviously, you and I have both seen it. And so, yeah. before I give my thoughts, I want to hear what did, you, what, what did you think of it? I think it's... Probably for me, it's the third best one. But like I said, I liked the second Predator movie. And I don't know, a lot of people didn't. So it's either yeah. going to be your second or your third favorite one. It's a lot better than the than the previous ones that have come. It's a lot better than the last one, for damn sure. Like a thousand times <laughs> better than that. <laughs> and for once, it's it's more focused than the others. You know, it's the, it, it doesn't have all that sci-fi elements. It doesn't have – it's – it's more like the whole cat and mouse thing. Like the predators yeah. there to hunt down people or creatures in this movie. It hunts down creatures as well. And um, yeah, that's what, what it's about. It's, it, there's nothing else to it. Like it's just focused on that story, you know, it, and, and I like that. It, it wasn't this huge spectacle of like, you know, sci-fi stuff where there's ships and there's and they're trying to explain yeah. like a history of all why these things are here and what's happening and you know where they're going and it was just the it's just a simple story about a, 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 a native americans encountering the predator for the first time it, and that's yeah. about it that's all you need to know yeah, that, that that that's a one thing I I think I took away from it as well. It's like it's not heavy on on the canon. You know, it's no. not trying to. Yes, you are like a little bit of like throwbacks. You know, towards like it, it, you know, if it bleeds, we can kill us. You know, like that yeah, that, that yeah, sort of yeah, thing yeah, exists yeah, there. Yeah. But it, it's not it's not in the in a case of it's not trying to overstuff the canon or trying to confuse you or trying to say, oh, but remember this movie? What happened there? It's actually a yeah, very yeah. simple movie. And that's, that's a great thing. It's also like a great jumping on point for someone who's yeah. never watched Predator. They can yeah. just like put this on and like, okay, cool. I understand the basis. It's like there's a hunter. He's on Earth. You know, he's trying to collect, you know, basically, you know, trophy kills. Got it. You know, done. You know, it, it's very That's simple. It. And I think that yeah. that is the premise of like Predator from the get go. And I think it, yeah. it's got lost along the way because, you know, they've tried to turn it into... I don't know, like if they wanted to do like the like an MCU for the Predator or something like that, like yeah. a Predator franchise, you know, with, with all these predators things. Hunting and then like, predators, hunting predators, yeah. hunting predators, hunting aliens, hunting predators. And then, you know, and then, yeah, then like, the Predator what? like who turns his back on, on certain things, you know, someone who develops yeah. a conscience. Like, you know what, like we, we, it's a very simple concept. It, it's, yeah. you know, it's tried and tested and I think that's what people wanted to see. It's kind of like a slasher movie. I mean, you, you know, you think of like Friday the yeah, 13th, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, you know, know like with that. Uh, with like Jason, you know, you know what's going to happen. You know, Jason's yeah, going to yeah. kill people. Like even when you put him in space, you know, that's that's yeah, literally yeah. it. Like Jason's going to go after people <laughs> even in space, and that's the purpose of, of Predator. You just got to put it in different settings, and I think that's the key to to success. Because as you said, yeah. I mean, you like Predator Two, even though Predator Two is not taking place in the jungle or anything. It's the concrete jungle of Los Angeles, but it's yeah. in a different setting. But still, it's yeah. a Predator hunting. And it makes yeah, sense. Like, yeah. All the other movies, like no one knows what's going on. Like no one can explain the plot. I don't even think the directors knew what was going on, to be honest. <laughs> and w- with Prey, I think it's a lot more focused. It's a lot simple. It's very, you know, the, the narrative is super simple. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel. And it works for me. I, I do think that, I know we discussed the movie like the first time we, we both watched it. And, you know, we yeah. both had like, you know, we discussed a little bit and I've actually gone back and I, and I've like started watching like, you know, a bit more of the movie because I've, I've, you know, been doing a few, a few things about it around it. And, you know, it, I've been pondering a lot about it. And the more I've watched it certain things, the more I've actually come to enjoy it like, a little bit yeah. more. It's actually gone up like after the second viewing, it's actually been like, Oh, okay, this is actually pretty cool. I've actually enjoyed it a lot more than what I did the first yeah. time. And I think it's purely because like, I kind of you know knew what was going on. I wasn't trying to look for any surprises. I was just like, okay, this is simple. 
You know, this is just a yeah, simple yeah. action driven movie. It's like, yeah. it's really cool. Like the setting as well. Like I found it setting it in the past because it, it makes, it takes away the whole aspect of weapons, you yeah. know, humans with weapons versus the predator. Cause the thing is like, yeah. yeah, I mean, you can use like, you know, a bazooka or whatever against a predator, but it also at the same time takes away some of the predators weapons as well. Like I found it, it wasn't so tech heavy, this movie, it was actually more about, you know, hunting skills, you know, like, you know, yeah. it was more about who's the better hunter. And I found that that was yeah. a really cool sort of concept that you actually put, put them against each other because then like a human actually stands a chance because the whole concept yeah. of the predators is supposed to be that it's supposed to hunt something that it finds a threat, something that yeah. it finds as a challenge. So in, in this case, like in this movie, you know, obviously you see it against like other predators, like other animals, but then also with the humans, like, well, technically humans are actually not predators because we don't uh, eat everything that we kill. So we are not yeah, actually at the yeah. top of the food chain, which is a, a bit of a you know, inconsistency, but it, it's fine. It doesn't matter. We're going to ignore that for now. <laughs> and the, the thing is but, that you, you kind of concept, go with that. The concept, yeah, the concept works though, like, well, yeah. you know what? Well, you, know, you know what I liked about this is that they could make a whole bunch of these, like in different settings, like um, put the predator with Vikings and put the predator with you know the Egyptians, or you know, you, they, they could literally make a whole bunch of these now. Uh, and I they imagine said it wherever they want. Yeah, yeah they, they're probably going to go that direction. That's they, actually what I read. Put it in different settings. It would Th- that's what I read was actually like the pitch initially like apparently to Fox like the, the original pitch was about setting it like in different places and then they just tweaked it to a certain setting that they <laughs> wanted and um, and, and like I think that might be actually the plan going forward. They might be looking at where they can, you know, set the predator in, in future places. But I thought it was it was quite well done. And the cool thing is it doesn't necessarily you know, set up a sequel or anything like that. I mean, we all know the Predator comes back. Right? Well, the Predators, you know, they, they come back yeah, to yeah, Earth yeah, because yeah. obviously the first one. But it, it was just done in such a cool way that, as you say, it's just like, okay, here it is. Here's the setting. It kind of had the same sort of feel as the first one. Because when you watch the first one, I mean, after the Predator like, kind of like you know, blows himself up, it, it's like, it's over. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, Dutch gets back into the chopper and that's it. It's done. The movie's over. It's not promising you a sequel. It's not promising yeah. you it's like, a coming franchise back to the whatever. Jungle. Like yeah, it's like, you know, it, it, it's it's literally done. It's over. And I think yeah. that that's a cool thing. And afterwards, if you want to carry on doing something, then you can. But for the moment, just leave it as it is. And I think that that's what works. It's like, it's it's an isolated movie, which it can continue. There, there, there's like absolutely no doubts about it, but it's not promising you a sequel. It's not setting up like a teaser. Oh, by the way, you know, here's the second one. Oh, we're going to have a spin-off Predator series. And we're also going to have a sitcom about Predators. And it doesn't have yeah. any of that, which, you know, you kind of get with a lot of movies. And I think... That's what I really enjoyed about it because I'm, I'll be honest, like it's kind of a little bit tiresome that with all the movies that you watch nowadays, it always has to be about franchise potential. Oh, but is this yeah. going to be a franchise? Like, let's just yeah, yeah, focus yeah. on the movie now before the next one or the one afterwards. Like, focus on the now, get that right. Yeah. And then afterwards, maybe we can explore things. But yeah, I thought it was, it was really well done. And what, what I really liked about the movie as well was the use of silence throughout the movie. It's a very quiet movie. You know, it's yeah, like very yeah, yeah, quiet yeah. Like, throughout the movie because. And that's the thing, because, you know, you kind of watch the first Predator, and even though they're in the jungle, like, they don't shut up. I mean, these are, like, supposed to be, like, you know, war veterans and stuff like that. They're supposed to know, like, you know, silence is gold. And they don't believe in that, man. <laughs> these people yeah. go out there, and they're making a racket, you know. And here, it's like, it's it's quiet, and you don't, like, it kind of feels like a hunt, actually. Like, the way you look at it, it's yeah, like, oh, yeah. this is like how you imagine. Like, I haven't hunted anything in my life, but this is how I imagine it to be. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. You've spoken a lot about positives now i just want to get into a few negatives like for me yeah. personally uh i think they could have had a bigger budget but that's obviously because of the limitations i mean in terms of you know where the distribution is going the fact that it's yeah. going to tv there, there there was a limited budget yeah and you can you can sort of tell from like yeah like i think some of the costumes could have been a little better and I think some of the bigger action sequences could have been toned up quite a bit. You know, like uh, there's a part in the trailer as well where the predators, they show a, 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 the, the predator fighting a bear. Like for yeah. me, that could have been such an epic, you know, bigger, fight. A bigger fight, yeah. It could have been, yeah, it could have been yeah. so much bigger, <sighs> but it, it's toned down a bit. And, and, you know, I'm aware that there 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 were limitations here, and yeah. so you you're okay with you know what you get, but I'm just saying that that is they they did hold back a bit in terms of how much money they could spend on this thing. Yeah, 
look, I mean, the movie is also like 90 minutes long. So it, it's actually like quite short in comparison to, I think it is about 90 minutes. It's, it's, it wasn't long. It's, it's actually quite a no, short it, movie. It's so. not long at all. And, and I think it, it's it's better done that way. I think, you know, we've kind of got spoiled with like, you know, sometimes action set pieces, but I do get yeah. your point. Like, I mean, there were certain things that they could have expanded upon a bit. I think my only real complaint, and I don't necessarily know if it was intentional or not, but I think this predator is kind of stupid. Um, because <laughs> like, no, they're like really, like I think he's a bit kind of stupid because you kind of see how like without getting spoilers, like how he gets himself into certain situations, how certain things happen, and you kind of think what, but like and also like what it deems a threat and what it doesn't deem a threat. Like it doesn't seem very intelligent. Like I kind of think that this I, one know, is a little bit yeah an experience. Think, you know, I think yeah, I think what ha- you know, and they don't show this in the movie, but I think what's happening here is that these predators come to Earth to like prove their like their manhood or their that they're worthy. Oh, yeah, right to be. passage. Yeah, yeah. yeah but that yeah, is the yeah. premise yeah, of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I I think that some of them are a bit unskilled. Like, you can you can tell that they make silly mistakes. And then there are obviously some that are more hardcore and skilled. Yeah. And this isn't one of the most skilled predators. Like, you can tell that from right from the get-go. He's, he's yeah, learning I mean, he, as he goes along. It's a vicious creature. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, it, it's pretty brutal and ferocious in terms of how it attacks. But it's just not very smart. Like the, the, this creature that compared to like the first the OG Predator, like, you know, that we saw. And even the one in Predator 2, like, you know, the, they were like pretty smart. This one, ah, shame. You know, like this one is, uh, I don't know if they dropped him off on Earth just to get rid of him. <laughs> like, we were like, hi, <laughs> coming back. It was a bit of a stupid Predator. So like, yeah, that's the thing. I, I, think, I think you're probably right. I think it, it, they wanted to perhaps show like he, he's very, you know, he's very raw and very like, yeah. you know, just like, I, that's the thing but yeah like, like the way he like, I, deals with surroundings and stuff yeah I, I agree with you there because why didn't he just hunt at night he hunts during the day as well where he could sort of be seen you know whereas if, yeah. he, had, if he hunts at night he has a like extreme advantage because not only is it dark but you won't be able to see him either you know what I mean like, yeah he's not yeah he's not as he's, maybe maybe that's kind of the reason why Intention, they went that yeah. way is because the lady isn't as skilled as a hunter either. So, well, I mean, she access. she's actually quite she's got natural talent, but I think her, her people yeah. don't like. Well, especially like her brother and the brother's friends, they don't really like think that she is is skilled enough to go there. But she kind of yeah, she yeah. kind of shows that she's like quite. I, I think she's a skilled like strategist. Like in a way, she can plan things because, as you yeah. can see, she creates her own weapons and she and she puts in the effort and stuff like that. So I think she's she's smarter than what they actually give her credit for. Like, and I think that's yeah. what like you know that's what she uses her smarts more than anything else. Like, obviously, you can't go fight the predator with raw power. He's he's always going to come out yeah, on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that that's that's what she realized very quickly. Like, okay, this creature is way more powerful. And it's got like, you know, it, it, it's got lethal weapons as well. The we- weapons are slightly more advanced than what we have. So I need to take it down in a different way. And I think that's where she shows intelligence compared to yeah. like some of her other, comp- like they think, okay, well, we're just going to try use w- what we have. And they, they don't think about it. even with the other, like um, the, the other humans that also appear in the movie without going into spoilers as well. They also like, they also do like certain things that you just like, they don't realize very quickly, like, hang on, this stuff is not going to work against this creature. You know, like, yeah. well, like we've seen in other movies. Suppose, like, oh. To be yeah. fair, if something like that showed up, you'll just try anything that you, <laughs> that you yeah, can. Yeah, true. I mean, did, you know. but, but I think we had this discussion as well, like about, you know, Jurassic Park and like Jurassic World. It's like, you know, there's a dinosaur outside and everybody goes, stands outside in the yard. Like, what yeah, are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. sort of thing. Like, you know, just be a little bit more intelligent, be a bit smarter, you know, like, okay, yeah. wait, I shot run, this thing three hide. times. It's not yeah. going down. It's not going to work. I need to run. <laughs> yeah. You know, something like that. And I think like yeah, the Comanche, like they, they were smarter moments, than the, the, There were moments yeah. like that in this movie yeah, where you're like, oh, why aren't they reacting? Like, yeah. And I mean, I think the Comanche, they were like a bit smart and they tried to like work yeah. as like a team. Whereas the, the, the other humans were like, ah, you know what? Just carry on shooting. Like, well, it's not working guys. Like seriously, <laughs> change yeah. your tactic. You know, it's like, yeah, but I, that was the only thing, but yeah, I, I pretty much enjoyed it. I thought it was, it was, it was, it was very good. I think that it's going to be one of those movies where a lot of people, it, it's going to have a replay value. It's the kind of movie you yeah. can have one in the background watching a couple times. I think, and I think that definitely is an improvement. Is also really, really good. The lead actress, I think yeah, no, she, she's she did excellent. A really good job. Like, no, she's she's really nobody good. Nobody else really stands out, but I think she did a really good job. Like everybody else I was think okay. It's because, like, no one, she was good. No one else was really like 
made like i mean this at the end of the day this movie is between her and the predator that's that's basically yeah, what yeah, it's about that's, that's and true. i think you know everyone else is like you know a peripheral character i think her brother has a little bit more of a role but you know naru is 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 the, the main the main character and she obviously is the one that's following and i think it's you know i mean like you see in the trailer turn her dog you know that that is the the the, the whole thing of like the, the movie whereas with other movies you might have had like the side characters that play a bit of a role but this is her journey you know her journey and i think yeah. that's i mean i think everyone's figured out like you know by the title prey it's kind of implying who's who actually is a prey and who's the hunter and i think yeah. somewhere in the movie you'll see that things do change you know things do swap around it's i mean everyone can yeah. figure that out they've seen it by the trailer so yeah. i think that's the whole purpose of it and they've kept it very focused which i think is a great way of doing it versus instead of having a whole group or like all these side characters and like you know it feels like side quests all the time so like at least it's it's just, you, actually, you, know, you actually raised another point is that there's been a lot of footage of this movie out there already. And I, I, and there's there's not a lot of surprises if you've watched like the most recent trailers. Like I, I watched a few the other day and I was like, wow, they literally given a – There is the something. Away. Yeah. They're not showing the Predator's face in any of the trailers like properly. Like you don't see the Predator's face. No, like, they have. Mask, no, because- there's, there's like pictures now as well. Well, oh, it's okay. Not. Well, then I, then I missed that one. I have, I've obviously missed because when I looked for, at the last trailer, like I saw that you, you just see no, like they holding up the shield. They've shown that everything was a, there. Okay, all right. Well, then, yeah. Well, I guess it's a week before they're like, ah, let's go for broke. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, we need the subscriptions. Disney Plus is like, oh, we need the subscriptions up, you know, like, you know, I mean, that, that's the thing. So I think they're obviously trying to, to go for broke here. But yeah, look, I think it's. It's definitely a, a movie worth watching if you've been into the Predator series. If you've hated the last few, like, you know, pretty much most people have, this is actually a really cool point. You're like, oh, this is really it, – it captures back the, the spirit of the original, you know, with a bit of a fresher twist, and I think it's that's what's important. And so, yeah, I, I definitely can recommend it as, as something that people should, you know, get on and, and, and watch it and, you know, just yeah. check it out because it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Especially Would you say the know, same? If, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely like this is this is perfect uh, Friday night entertainment at home. So there you go. You've heard it directly from the Fortress of Solitude's predator's mouth. Oh, the president. Sorry, Jared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are a predator. That, that is the point. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I mean, no. You, you're, not, you're not an alien creature. No, but you've heard it directly from Jared's mouth. He says, go watch it. So if he says, because I mean, you know, Jared and I, we hardly ever agree on movies. Like, that's the truth. We, we, we've actually, like, we haven't been agreeing on movies for quite a while now, actually. We sort of agreed on The Grey Man, didn't we? Sort of? Yeah, we did. Okay, we did in The Batman. We did agree on The Batman and, and yeah. The Grey Man. We didn't agree on, I think it was... Uh, Doctor Strange, the new Doctor Strange, and okay, well, Thor: Love and Thunder. We didn't, we we didn't do a podcast together, but I think we both kind of had similar feelings. So yeah, yeah, I, I like, dislike that, that movie so much. Okay, I didn't dislike like, it as much that's as a, you. That, that's a different podcast, all that stuff. Yeah, that's a different podcast. Like about yeah, we we try to keep it positive here in the sense of like you know we try to have some fair balanced criticism. We don't go say. We, we, you know, we hope that Thor never comes back in the MCU. We, we're not that sort oh, of podcast. I'll, 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 we'll do that one next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Jared, it's been great having you again. And yeah, to everybody else out there, thanks again for listening. And yeah, Prey is dropping this Friday on Hulu and Disney Plus. August uh, 5th, if I'm not mistaken. I think that is Friday's date, August 5th. So yeah, yeah. check it out. And then let us know, did you think it was great? Did you think it was terrible do you think it's a step in the right direction for the predator franchise let us know and at the same time whilst you're at it don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and until next time jared it's been cool having you on again everyone else out there take it easy and enjoy prey <laughs>